How do you write suspense? Again, painfully, you know, um, painfully long. I, I think it's setting up that, that world for me. I love setting up the world, maybe because I was a photographer. I love where I could describe the room, describe the sound, and then, and then um, I know for me, terror isn't in your face. It's like this, like, um, if things are quiet, and then all of a sudden you start to hear my voice, then all of a sudden you hear a, a, a cup crash in the other room and we both turn, that's scary to me versus like a thin, like music. It's, so I try to, I think pacing is, is a great, great um, part of it. And I know like, uh, you know, to have the audience want something that maybe they don't want to see, but they, they are curious about. So you, so you try to lead, lead them on as long as possible before you frustrate the audience by, you know, doing that. So I, I'm still working on it. I hope, uh, hopefully the next couple of ones will be more suspenseful. But yeah, it's a work in progress, I guess, in, in terms of getting on the right, like, ah, uh, or like, you know, on your edge of the seat feeling. So still working on that craft. What did All Roads to Perla teach you about pacing? It's, it's, it's everything. It's rhythm. It's how you get into a story. It's how you leave. It's, um, you could be in one part too long, one scene too long. Um, the dialogue had gone a little bit too much. So it's, it's like being a DJ. It's like you can't, you have to know when uh, to start the, the crowd, when to get them going, when to set them, settle them down, and when to exit, you know? And it, it, it's, and that comes through, I guess, experience and trying to, which, you know, thankfully I was able to make this one and uh, learn from issues I might have faced and, and weren't so successful on and try to get better at that. But pacing is absolutely everything. The editing, um, the editing is everything. And, and to, to that, you know, to, to get that right. Um, it's like rhythms again, it's like music. Um, and, and I see that in composition too. Rhythms is, you know, is all, you know, it's super important. So how do you know when to leave a scene? Again, I think that's subjective and taste. So you build your taste of things that you like. So I would take it like if I was watching this film, how would I feel? If it's too long, it's really being an honest assessment of, of yourself and, and really going like, uh, having fresh eyes on it helps and other people who, who understand what you're trying to do and, and take, take those criticisms because, man, this is, we don't need this.